Oh, great, my head's out of shot. Hmm. Yo everyone, hello. What's going on in your life? I feel like this, I've, this has been a long time since I've done this actually, um, so it's very weird. Anyway, so today I thought I would give you, one, a life update, two, I think I'm going to do some sort of week in my life thing, but obviously it's not really a week in my life because I've been quarantined at home because my school has been shut because um, of coronavirus. So I'm currently at home, which is weird because those of you who don't know, I go to boarding school because I am a musician and I play the cello and percussion. So I'm usually just at home for holidays. Um, and I was gonna come, obviously I was gonna come back for Easter, but not for another week. So I have come home early and we're not really allowed to go anywhere. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. I guess it means that I get a week at home another extra bonus week at home which is I'm lucky for I guess in a way try to stay I'm trying to stay optimistic about the whole thing <laughs> um anyway so life update um how's your life going mine is pretty good so where to start okay so a couple of weeks back or it's like a month ago actually um it was in half term so yeah quite a while ago I started getting really bad headaches and dizziness um, and I thought it was just you know one of those things just feeling a bit under the weather so I went back to school as normal but the headaches didn't go away and because I have Tourette's syndrome which is kind of what this channel is about I'm on medication for it and I obviously were worried that it could be side effects from that which obviously wouldn't have been good but it could have been a lot of different things so it wasn't great actually the headaches were like all the time in fact they're still all the time and um, so I went to the GP at school and they didn't know what it was um, and so they just said to try and keep taking paracetamol and ibuprofen i.e. painkillers and um, try and see if it goes and it didn't go <laughs> so this had been like three weeks, it had been three weeks of constant headaches and so we got in touch with my doctor here at home, um, my paediatrician who handles my medicine and he thinks it might be something, I'm going to say this wrong, postural hypotension, I don't really know, I'm not really sure, it's something to do with my medicine which is a blood pressure medicine but it somehow stops my tics, it's a bit weird, but um, he says that it's whenever I move my blood pressure lowers too much which means that my brain isn't getting enough oxygen which probably isn't very good um, <laughs> but don't if I said it wrong or whatever I'm sorry I'm not a doctor <laughs> but that's what he told me the decision was was that I was gonna start to come off my medication but that could bring up other problems because my tics could flare up and I could get like a up of my Tourette's which obviously wouldn't be great because this medicine it doesn't just take away all of my tics um, but it does sort of take the edge off all the big ones or it kind of stops it from being like really fine and then going really bad again and going really fine it sort of takes the edge off a bit which is great and because I've been on it for quite a long time he thinks my body's got too used to it um, which is why I'm getting these really bad headaches but that obviously stressed me out because then I didn't know what was going to happen and those of you who know me know that I don't really like change or sudden change very much because one, I mean I still do have OCD but it's a lot better now and I get really anxious about stuff especially like big changes and not knowing what's going to happen to your body from one minute to the next is obviously quite scary and so I got really stressed out about it and that's okay you know it's a big thing for me anyway um, and then I decided you know what I'm just gonna do it see if it helps but it takes a long time to come off it which is another annoying thing so it's gonna take a few weeks to come off it I'm on week two um, so it's slowly coming down 
which is obviously a bit stressful. But I mean, I'm at home, which is great. So that takes some pressure off. Um, and it's okay to stress out about it, you know. Everyone gets upset about stuff. But I'm okay with it now, I've got over it. And we're just gonna have to wait it out and see what happens. But I've decided that I'm gonna do a video this week of me at home, like a little vlog type thing, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I'm experimenting um, because I'm doing all my work at home because my teachers have set all my school work on Google Classroom because of being quarantined. So it's going to be interesting working at home. I did it on Friday and yesterday. Yes, I know yesterday was a Saturday, but sucks. We have Saturday morning school. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, I've got my desk. I'm using a desk next door, which is great. So I have my working space, which is good. Um, but I'm not used to working at home, obviously, because I'm only at home for holidays. But yeah, I'm going to bring you along for my week. Right, so carrying on into the vlog, um, today I am, because it's a Sunday, I'm not planning on doing very much, I haven't unpacked yet, <laughs> which is great, just living out of bags and suitcases, so I'm going to sort that out because I have spare time. So I have my wardrobe here, which you can't see there, yeah, you can't actually see it, but there's a wardrobe, and so I'm going to take all my bags and I'm going to empty them and I'm going to organise them and hopefully put the stuff in there so my room isn't a tip and I don't have to live out of bags. Me. So, there we go. Time lapse of me sorting out clothes. organizing is getting there okay so currently it just looks like a big mess but it isn't i just need to put these two jumpers in that like pile um got it all pretty much sorted out and now i've got to sort out my wardrobe so that there's space so i've pushed all this sort of summary stuff to the back so there's some space at the front i've got a whole one there and it's really big actually i'm really happy um this there's a bunch of books and random, some really random stuff I need to go through. Um, in here is the start of some stuff. Down here there's just some rubbish pretty much. Um, and then, hello. Um, then we've got hanging the other side, which is pretty full. It's mostly summary stuff though, like most of it. Um, some. Yeah, and then some jumpers up there, which I don't really wear that much. Although well, not this time of year or stuff. So yeah, let's get started. Uh. Our nana and pa, my nana and pa, because they were running short and they don't have a delivery for another couple of weeks. So for Mother's Day, we bought them this, but obviously they can't come outside. So we are talking to them through the window upstairs, and we're still in the garden. Luckily, it's a nice day though. And we're, and we're just up, just you, up the you We're What's just doing the seventeen. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. That is drowsy. We've got some toilet roll because people seem to take a lot of it. We've got some long life milk, spinach. Mother's Day card, chocolate, um, some fruit and veg, some pesto, and some Mother's Day plants. There we go. It's weird not being able to see them though. No, but there's enough for three people. That's 
I'm gonna miss you. Yes, I Bye bye. Love you, love you, John. Unpack it and wash your hands. I will. I love you both. Love you. Love you. Wish I could give you a hug. Love you. I'll get you in time. Love you. Don't worry. Love you. Love you. Love you. Be careful. Bye, Pan. Bye, Nana. Bye. 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 Um, we just got back from seeing my grandparents and dropping off some stuff for them. So now I'm going to get on with some snedron practice. This is officially taking a lot longer than expected. But you know, just need to keep going. <laughs> taking so long. But I've cleared out the bottom one, which is f which was like literally full of just junk. This is still a bit of a mismatch. Need to sort out some stuff here. But the books behind it are another day's job. No idea why um, the umbrella is in that bag. Okay, so I just came upstairs from um, from having dinner, um, which didn't go too well. Um, I didn't have my camera downstairs, although I was uh, sorry, I didn't have my camera downstairs. Otherwise, I would have filmed some of it. But um, just one of those things. My ticks got really bad, but you know, my sister got to feed me. Um, it's always amusing when food starts flying everywhere. So there we go. That's the thing with Tourette's, sometimes it can be better, sometimes it can be worse. It's literally like, you don't know what's going to happen from one, from one minute to the next. But, you know, I'm cool with that, so... Yeah. Finally, I'm done. So happy. The top just looks messy, but it isn't. I just need to probably just refold them. So I've got my sports stuff just up there. Trousers, tops, books... My medicine, um, jumpers, pyjamas, my like wash stuff and some socks. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself. It's actually so satisfying though. Makes me happy. Oh, focus. Hello. Focus on this, my lovely face. Mm, try again. I am now downstairs in the lounge because we are gonna watch. What is it? Around the what is it? Race Daddy? around the world. Race around the, or the race around the world. I've never actually seen it, but my mum and sister like it, so that's what I spend the rest of my evening doing. Yeah. See you later. my day finished I just got ready for bed um, but I still need to take my earrings out I'll do that now um, yeah that is that's my day I haven't really done much today it's a bit of a boring video uh, yeah um, cat <coughs> cat <coughs> um, yeah I hope you guys like this video um, it was pretty much just me sorting out my wardrobe that was pretty much it oh and seeing my nana and Nana and Pa, my grandparents, or seeing them. Anyway, um, I'm gonna say good night. Hang on, I can't find my earring. There we go. Right. Good night. Peace out. Sleep well. Bye.